Today I'm playing the most difficult strategy game of all time. It's called World Warfare and Economics. If you're someone that likes strategy titles and you are a deep strategy dude, this game is one that you gotta try out. It is not easy, it is a challenge, and I wanna thank World Warfare and Economics for sponsoring today's video. If at any point in time you feel intrigued or desire to play this title, my link is in the description of the video. It supports my channel. Let's get into the video. So you may be wondering, what is this game? Well, it's a geopolitical simulator that lets you shape the fate of nations. Do you know what that means? It means you could literally cause chaos around the world inside of the game, of course, but you can make wars happen or you can make peace happen. It really is up to you as the leader. You're gonna be able to engage in realistic strategies across economy, politics, military, and you could lead your nation to complete and utter global dominance and see how things turn out. So let's see what we can do. So upon loading up the game, you have an option of doing the real simulation. You can do the Israel-Iran conflict. You can play as US, Israel, or Iran, or you can dive into the China-USA conflict where you could play as China or the USA. I think what we're gonna do right here is do some real simulation. And as you can see, you have a lot of countries to choose from. You could literally be anyone. So who am I gonna be? Well, I'm gonna be the United States of America. Of course, that's where we are. You could also change the year of what's going on. Based on history, what year do you wanna dive back into? Well, we're gonna start with 2020 right here. So when you start up the game, you have a bunch of options to choose from. Like, do you want pandemics to be on or to be off? We'll leave them on. Iron mode, political simulation, we'll keep that on. Fog of war, unlimited resources. I feel like if you put on unlimited resources, you're kind of cheating. So we'll keep that off. Peace conferences, peace mode, enable a tutorial. Nah, we don't need it. Let's dive into the game now. As you can see, the game is available right now in the Steam store. The best way to get it is by using my link in the description because it supports my channel. And I appreciate you guys for that. And as you can see, it's an early access game, but it is quite built out already. Hopefully you guys decide to try it and you enjoy. Ah, here we come into the world. As you can see, we are in a very vast, large world. We have everything. We can interact with everyone and we can do anything that we want to do. Notice we have some of our battle stations, but also check out over here, these areas, these are our missiles. These are gonna be protecting our borders, making sure that no one can come in and disrupt our country. Now, as I mentioned, this is a massive strategy game. This is not a game you dive into the first second and it's very intuitive on what you should do. There's a lot of things that you need to do to make life happen the way you want life to happen because you are the ruler. You are making those political decisions and I am now making political decisions for the United States. So let's actually come on out of here. Let's go on and start up here with some of the economy. Notice we can go into revenues, stock market, GDP, finance, the budget, and sectors. Let's go into the budget really quickly to see. Look, we can budget for all of these different things. We can take away budget or add budget. Let's add some budget to security. We definitely want that. We want, our, we want people to be happy as well. We also want some good amount of energy and research is good to keep our army stuff going as well. We don't want dummies, so we want to put up a little bit of education and health. We want our people healthy. Transportation. Yeah, sports, you know what? I love sports, but we're, we're trying to rule a nation right here, okay? Media, we'll, we'll go a little bit lower on that. Entertainment, people could be angry and just ready to fight, so they're more ready for war because we're getting rid of that. Environment, we want good air. We want good air. Housing, I want a nice house, so we're going to go up with that as well. Now, as you hit save, you can see that everything adjusts over here for our budget. Let's move over to military. You know, I want a large military budget so we're gonna move it all the way up and notice we are getting in the red but we will make that all okay and also resources yeah we want more resources our budget is getting oh space do we want to make it to the moon again debt i'm not sure i'm keeping this one right in the middle and then others budget setting okay there we go right there cool there is a way that we can go in and actually make sure that we have enough money for everything so when we're over here in finance, like you could literally break down everything, the debt that we have, all of that. You could adjust taxes. Do you want people to have high income tax, high corporate tax, 
low in low income tax like crazy amounts of things housing tax oh man people may hate to live in my country with the amount i would tax them because we need a big military budget now also here's a cool feature we're in debt right we need to improve our debt we can literally print money right here i'm gonna print 21 trillion dollars we gotta do it while no one's looking so that everyone doesn't understand we don't want them to know about inflation going on right here we don't want other countries to know we're printing money we don't want them to know we're devaluing the dollar so boop, we are secretly printing the money and suddenly we are out of debt now let's take a look at what's going on in our relationships. You can see our demographics, passports, world actions, organizations, government, and relationships. So relationships, the diplomatic rec Republic of the Congo. Taking a look at our demographics, you can see workers, you can see hierarchy, religions going on, atheism, oh my God. And all of the immigration that's going on inside of the world as well pretty crazy the level of statistics we have here but let's dive in a little bit deeper we also have government hmm democratic republican independent where do we want to subsidize should we do we want to subsidize democrats republicans independent now, this isn't supposed to be a political video but i guess in a way it is let's go independent just because i'm just gonna be right there in the middle we're gonna subsidize some couple of trillion into that election system every two years wait can we go less every four years voting system and then the elections and the elections in history but none of that has happened yet now we also have a bunch of military stuff like over here we could deploy a bunch of tanks uh we, we could deploy a whole bunch of stuff uh I, I want what if i want everything what if i want to deploy just kind of all of these these are fun because these are actually like weapons of mass destruction we really can protect any part of our region that we want to also, if you take a look at the top right, you could pause time, you can go in half time, or one times, two times, three times, or even ten times speed. We'll go in one time speed right now and just let things happen. But we should probably build some relationships and do some things. And notice we also have the news tab on the bottom showing us what's going on. Ooh, can we declare war? Ooh, shall we devastate all regions? Do we want to completely destroy Canada? I don't know why we would. Let's not do it to Canada. Let's do it to someone else. Who do we want to destroy right now? What about Mexico? What if we want to, like, mess around with Mexico a little bit? You know, that's connected to the United States. Maybe we want to be able to, you know, have more land. Declare war. Are you sure you want to declare war upon Mexico? Yes. We sent an insult. We are really making bad blood right now with Mexico. Hopefully all of our bombs are set up on the side so they don't try and come and attack us. We got a lot of stuff. Should I send um, should I send some units right here? Let's get out of this. I may want to send some military stuff. And let's send them to... Where's Texas? Let's send them to Texas. Now, as I mentioned, our debt could be in an issue right now. So let's look at our finance. Uh, let's just, uh, let's just you know, no one's going to know. Print some more money. Just print some more money right there. Oh, I got to wait for days. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to 10 times speed this. We're going to make a bunch of days pass. We need a year to go by so that we can then print some more money. Has war happened yet? Like, man, I I'll be honest. No hate for Mexico. I actually just recently vacationed there and enjoyed it quite a bit. But hey, for the, for the terms of the game, we're just having some fun destroying stuff. So obviously you have war simulation inside of the game, space exploration inside of the game, and a sandbox environment that we can really create, which is really a cool feature. And now we can click on some AI suggestions as well. And as you can see, we have a war going on, United States versus Mexico. We could we can even get more aggressive. So let's get aggressive there also. Different trades that are going on. So I like that. Let's do let's boost our trade. Anything green we could boost and feel good about. So we're good with that. What else do we want to take a look at here? While we're here, why don't we make sure that all of our agreements, let's sign some agreements right here with Canada. Want to make sure that uh that we are in good standings with them in case this whole thing with Mexico, you know, goes haywire. We want everyone else to like us. So we want to make sure that they have our backs when times could become tough. Do we have any more agreements to sign? No, we are we are best friends now with Canada. Not that they're a military force or anything, but I guess we could make them one by sending them a whole bunch of resources. Now, as you can see, this game is pretty realistic. The way that you can really impact the world based on your decisions and the depth of the decisions that they're allowing you to make is pretty darn intense. So it definitely gives me a realistic feel of what it would like to be, you know, a leader of a nation. 
or a dictator of a nation, however it is you want that to run. So that is where the fun is inside of this one. With that being said, it's a very complex title. I know that I mentioned this earlier inside of the video, but this is something that you are going to have to take the time to invest your time into. And this is really deep strategy. I think a lot of you are into the really deep strategy, which is why I wanted to share this one with you. As time passes, it looks like the United States and Mexico actually became friends and the war never happened. A peace treaty was declared. See, I'm not a dictator after all. I'm a pretty nice guy that wants world peace. It takes care of Windows, Macs, even Linux, and the game is also always getting more updates. As we know, it's still in development, although it's still a very well put together game at this point. I love that the community is able to put in their information and put in their details and put in their wants and needs for the game so development can further improve in the way of the player and what they're looking for. And World Warfare and Economics is not just a game, it's an entire community that I know is very welcoming of new people that are looking to play. So again, if you want to play this title, use my link in the description. And again, I wanna thank World Warfare and Economics for sponsoring today's video.